Hey guys, it's Finality of Ashes here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a WoW video. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Azure Whelpling pet and where to get it after the Cataclysm. When the Cataclysm struck, it drove out all the blue dragonflight in Ashara, which was originally where you used to farm for the Azure Whelpling pet. Um, but for alts and people who are just starting to get it now, you won't find it in Ashara anymore. Ashara is now a low-level zone for whole players, as everybody knows now. And the drop for the Azor Whelpling pet has been moved to Winter Spring. It is a zone-wide drop, and it can drop off any mob in Winter Spring. So I'm going to be showing you a few places where you can farm for this. One of the places you can farm for it, a lot of people have been farming for it um, in, this um, in this area here, where all the fur bog are, because they kind of... Um, want to kill two birds with one stone, so to speak, so they get the, the uh, fur bog reputation as well when they kill all these mobs. Um, the downside to this is, um, the downside to doing this is uh, they don't respawn very quickly, and you can have a lot of uh, just downtime, just, um, just just waiting for these guys to respawn. So it, it can be a bit frustrating in that respect, but you do get the uh, Timbermore hold reputation, and you also get like cloth and stuff like that, which sells quite well on the auction house sometimes. So you know this this is one of the areas up here. So it's just this area up here. Another good area to farm for um, for the Azor Wealthling, if you're trying to get the Timberwall reputation, is this little cozy area down here. There are a lot of windfall here. Um, again, though, there is. Um, they're, they're quite spread out and the respawn rate on them isn't amazing so there is going to be downtime here where you're just kind of flying back and forth picking off like one or two random ones that spawn every now and then it can be uh, quite slow but again if you're trying to kill two birds with one stone you know it could be good you can also go and there's a lot of bears over at the sides and things and it's a zone wide drop so it's not the end of the world if you want to do it that way you can just kill some random mobs while you're waiting for them to respawn which you know which always works. The last best place to farm for the mount if you want the uh, Winterfall, the Mohold even, reputation, is this area right here, just right of Everlook. Um, this area is full of them. They respawn probably the fastest out of all the kind of Timbermore hold reputation areas. Um, and there are like, there are a couple out here that have been killed. And out over here, there's quite a lot of, if it loads, there's a few owl beasts and things out here that you can kill while you're waiting for these to all respawn. Um, also, you're going to be looting them as well because obviously you're going to be trying to find the um, the, the, the Azuling, the Azuling pet. And you'll get a few greens and stuff which can sell in the auction house quite nicely. So, you know, it's not it's not all bad. Um, so, so you can turn in the, the beads as well for reputation while still trying to get the... Um, the Azor pet. So this was probably the best place that you're going to be farming for if you want the Timbermore hold reputation at the same time. However, the downsides to doing it this way is um, it's not as common anymore, but there are still people who like to farm for the um, reputation on alts or even on main characters that they've just been slacking on. So um, it can be quite busy um, at certain points. Um, so, you know, just... Um, just kind of play it by ear, kind of find an area that's quite empty of people and, you know, you, you want to, th these things don't die, you can't attack them, they're probably for a quest. Um, so, you know, just, just kind of play it by ear and, um, you know, see, see what kind of comes of it. Um, it might be good to note that um, if we go up here, uh, the guy in this cave, uh, oh, is that a rare? I think he's named, let's try. Are you rare? I suppose you are. I'm going to assume you are. Um, if we go in this cave over here, this big guy who never used to be in there before, um, he has quite a high chance of dropping the pet. Um, but it's like, it's just him um, out of all of them. But um, again, he's not the highest chance thing in the area, but he's a little bit higher than all these other ones. But again, you have to like... Um, you know, you have to wait for him to respawn and all that stuff. And like I said, as you can see, they are like spaced out. They're not like right next to each other. You have to kind of get on your mount at some points to go forward a little bit and, you know, get off. And, you know, it's, 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 it's probably the best area if you want the winter fall um, to die for the reputation and all that stuff. So this is probably the best area to farm for it if you want to do it that way. 
Don't forget as well that when you clear this entire area out up here, if you go along to the mountain on the right here, there will also be some um, Ursas up here and some shamans and stuff that you can kill for extra reputation and things. Um, you will still have to wait around for a few, like a minute or so for the respawns, but like I said, they respawn pretty quickly. They're the fastest respawning like Winterfall people in the area from my experience. This isn't like, I'm not doing this statistically speaking, this is just from what I've been seeing of the area. So now we're going to go to the last part. Um, and see where I personally think is best to farm for the pet exclusively. A short journey away from Everlook and we are at the Lake Kelthrill. Kelthrill. Um, it's handily in a red circle because this is also my next dig site if I was to do archaeology. Um, this area, uh, the mobs, all the mobs here have the highest drop rate chance according to Wowhead um, in the whole zone for the pet. They are all very close together. You can go like in a complete circle and just, you know, you can one shot them. They're not very high health. So, you know, it's it's very easy um, to get them all. They're all pretty um, they're all pretty together. And once you've killed all the mobs in this area, you simply move on to the ones over here. And then over here when they load. And you can just continuously kill them and kill them and kill them, all of these. And you can just basically do a circle around this lake and come back here to the ghosts. Kill a few ghosts, kill all the ghosts in this area. There isn't, you know, there isn't that many. There's a good handful. You'll, you'll soon learn why they all kind of spawn and stuff and you won't have to worry about, like, you know, finding all the areas of them. Once you've killed all those, you simply go around the edge of the lake again. Uh, there is nothing in the little lake apart from the quest giver um, for a chain quest. And you're back to the rangers again. And the rangers by then, after you've killed all that, will all have respawned. So it's a constant circle and you don't have to stop or wait or go off anywhere else to try and, and, and get things or go to new places because the respawn rate is too low. You can continuously do a circle around here and continuously have mobs feeding at you that have the highest drop rate chance according to our head for the azure whelpling pet um i hope this guide has been good for you and i hope that you guys find it um in total so far i have spent about four hours in real life time trying to get it i've just been circling around the slate killing the same mobs again and again put some music on get the tv going do something in the background to kind of try and keep you focused it can be a little tedious um, zone wide pets are in my experience the hardest ones to get because it's not just with the same mob it's spread through every single mob in the zone so you know just a bit of patience a bit of time and you too will have the Azor Welping pet I can't show you mine because I still haven't gotten it yet because I'm still in the same boat as all you guys so good luck and happy farming <laughs>